Nikola Tesla, the name evokes both genius and madness, a man centuries ahead of his time. Photographs like this became symbols of his myth, but behind the myth lies a story few truly understand, one of obsession, invention, and isolation. Our story begins in 1856 in the small village of Smiljan. His mother, Juka Mendic, was an inventor in her own way, crafting mechanical tools by instinct, no formal training. His father, a Serbian Orthodox priest and writer, filled the house with language, reflection, and debate. In school, his memory was nearly photographic. Professors couldn't believe how effortlessly he mastered mathematics. But life wasn't kind. Poverty and illness stalked him, forcing him to leave his studies incomplete. While experimenting with DC motors, Tesla faced a question no one else dared ask. Could electricity alternate its flow in waves? In that flash of insight, alternating current, AC was born in his mind, a current that could travel further, lighter, more powerfully than anything before. In 1884, Tesla left Europe. He arrived in America to work under the great Thomas Edison, the icon of invention itself. But the two couldn't have been more different. Edison, the pragmatist, Tesla, the visionary. After months of friction and empty promises, Tesla parted ways, determined to light the world on his own terms. He had nothing, yet he had everything he needed, his idea. Tesla found an ally in George Westinghouse who saw potential where Edison saw threat. To discredit Tesla, Edison resorted to shocking demonstrations, gruesome proofs of danger, all to sway public fear. And yet, in 1893, Chicago lit up under Tesla's AC power. For the first time, electricity truly conquered darkness, and the world knew Tesla's name. Then came Niagara Falls, nature itself harnessed through Tesla's design. His AC system transmitted power miles away, proving once and for all that electricity could be global. But Tesla was already dreaming of something bigger, a tower that could wirelessly power the entire Earth. Wardenclyffe Tower was meant to transmit energy through the air itself. But when his backer, J.P. Morgan, realized there'd be no way to charge for wireless energy, funding vanished overnight. By 1917, the dream was dead. The tower dismantled for scrap. Tesla didn't fight it. He simply turned away, already thinking of his next impossible idea. He spent his last years alone in a New York hotel, feeding pigeons, sketching inventions no one would ever fund. When he died in 1943, the world barely noticed, but time would unearth his brilliance.